Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, TV Support Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it has finally happened, I have reached Master Prestige here within Call of Duty World War 2. In today's video we are going to be checking out Master Prestige, taking a look at all these special unlocks and benefits you get, while also taking a look at my overall Call of Duty World War 2 experience, including time played, kill death ratio, win loss ratio, challenge progress, and everything else. First things first, what happens when you hit Master Prestige? Well it's actually quite anticlimactic if you ask me. One once you hit 10th prestige level 55, you then need to go through that level the same way you would for any other prestige in the game, only this time, you simply roll over into level 56 as compared to going back to the headquarters talking to the general and prestiging that way. Once you hit level 56, it will pop up on your screen in-game that you reached prestige master, but that's only if you actually do it in-game. Unfortunately for me, I reached master prestige the most anticlimactic way possible by doing it with match bonus, so I had to wait until the after action report to see the level up itself. There's no need, as I said, to go talk to the general or even go back to the headquarters. You just simply roll into Master Prestige by leveling up, and once you're there, you now have over 900 more levels to go through until you can reach Master Prestige level 1000, which is the maximum rank in the game. If you do decide to go back to the headquarters and talk to the general, he won't have anything to say to you. There won't be an event of any kind, there won't be anything in your mailbox or an icon above your head. It's really anticlimactic, but you do get a couple of rewards however, you get a Master Prestige helmet, and you also get a Master Prestige calling card, which combines all of these soldiers from the 10 previous Prestige calling cards into one, which looks fantastic, and you also have everything in the game that can be unlocked with a token, permanently unlocked and available to you, so every single gun, every basic training, and every score streak is now unlocked and available to use, but of course, you still have to earn camos and attachments on your own. Aside from that, there really isn't a whole lot else to Master Prestige here in this game. Your new rank is the color yellow, but you can't change your Master Prestige icon like you could back in Black Ops 3, and to my understanding, you don't actually earn anything special by leveling up through the Master Prestige ranks themselves. The Doom Clan was the first group of people to actually hit Master Prestige level 1000, and even for getting the maximum rank in the game, you don't unlock anything whatsoever, so if I were Sledgehammer Games, I would find ways to reward Master Prestige players more than they currently do. I would start by allowing people who are Master Prestige to actually change their icon to be whatever prestige icon they wanted to be. Back in Black Ops 3, once you got the Master Prestige, you could change your icon to be whatever prestige icon you wanted from the game, because people knew you were Master Prestige because you were higher than the normal rank, and your rank was a different color than everybody else's, so it made sense. Choose whatever prestige icon you want to have. Why can't we do that here in Call of Duty World War 2? I would also add an event to the headquarters where you have to go back and talk to the general one final time to actually reach Master Prestige itself, because if you're someone like me, who got it with match bonus, it's really anticlimactic, it'd be much better if there was like an event, maybe the general gives you a salute, something like that, there's a lot they could actually do with the headquarters, it's a shame to me that there's no event whatsoever for actually reaching the maximum prestige in the game, there's also a bunch of other cool things they could do as well, so an example, I have a couple of ideas here, they could give out a bunch of rare supply drops for hitting certain master prestige levels, they could mail master prestige players the base variant of every new DLC weapon as it gets added to the game, I think it's actually a very good idea because here in Call of Duty World War 2, we have probably the most consumer friendly supply drop model when it comes to getting new weapons, right? You just talk to Major Howard, you play your 50 multiplayer matches for a gun or your 30 multiplayer matches for a melee weapon, and you get the base variant. Well, how about as the reward for Master Prestige players, you just mail them the base variant so they don't have to go and play all those games, they just have them right away. I mean, everyone's getting them anyway, this way Master Prestige players just get them a little bit sooner. It seems like a good idea to me. And another thing they could actually do, and it blows my mind, they didn't do this with Call of Duty World War 2, but they could give us heroic variants of different weapons for reaching certain Master Prestige ranks, like for example, rank 100, 200, 300, 400, and etc. This would actually be pretty similar to what they did back in Advanced Warfare, so for those that don't know, in Advanced Warfare, which was Sledgehammer's last game, they had a bit of a different prestige system, but once you hit Master Prestige in that game, you had basically 15 more prestiges to go, and every time you prestiged, they would give you a special weapon variant, which was typically one of the better variants in the entire game. How about here 
here in Call of Duty World War II, they do something similar, but instead of giving us a set variant, how about giving us a heroic token, which we can use to unlock any heroic item in the game, whether that's a weapon variant, or an outfit, or a calling card, or what have you, every 100 levels of Master Prestige give us a new token, which allows us to unlock a heroic item in this game. It's not as if, you know, there's a very small number of heroic items, there are tons of them out there, so it's not as if we're going to unlock everything right away, it would just be a nice reward for people who actually make it to the maximum rank here within Call of Duty World War II. Time will tell, I suppose. I mean, Sledgehammer has been working pretty well with the community this year, and a lot of people are disappointed with how Master Prestige has been handled, so maybe there will be an update in the future. We're going to have to see how it plays out, but with that all out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to take a look at my time played and my stats here in Call of Duty World War II. So to enter Master Prestige, it took me 6 days and 10 hours of playtime. I have 1,337 games played, and yes, I played 2 extra games to actually get that number. I have 27,935 kills. My kill death ratio is 2.12. My win loss ratio is 2.69. I'm actually kind of disappointed in my win loss ratio. In Modern Warfare Remastered, I had an 83% win rate. Like, I don't like to lose whatsoever. But here in Call of Duty World War II, the launch was terrible. The worst one we've ever had in the Call of Duty series. And as a result, there were lots of disconnects, which really hurt my win loss ratio by giving me losses when I didn't really deserve them. But by and large, I'm still pretty happy with 2.69. My overall score per minute is 374. And here are my stats with all of the weapons here in the game. As most of you know, I am working towards the Chrome Camo, but I don't like to play War or Hardcore to get challenges done super quickly. I just play the modes I like to play, like Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Hardpoint. I try to win, I try to do well, and headshots just kind of come as a byproduct of me playing, which is why I have so many kills with so many different weapons here in this game. When it comes to getting the Chrome Camo, I only have a few weapons actually left. I have the Brand Light Machine Gun, the Carbon Sniper, all three pistols, though I'm pretty much halfway done with the M1911, and I still have the shovel to do, and of course a few remaining challenges on the MG15, but by and large, I'm actually pretty close to Chrome Camo, which is going to be pretty awesome. If you want my advice for leveling quickly here in this game, I did do an entire video talking about that. I'll put a link to it down there in the description if you guys want me to go into more detail, check out that video, but in short, if you play Search and Destroy and you do very well the majority of the time, it's a great place to level up. I would say Co-Confirmed is the best place to level up for overall consistency, and Hardpoint is also pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on what Sledgehammer games could do better to reward Master Prestige players down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.